uh, having a bit of a bad time at Al Hilal. Let's go through it then. £78 million they paid for him. Um, but we're hearing reports from Brazil that he could have his contract cancelled. Why? I mean, is it possible to uh, feel sorry for somebody who earns two and a half million pounds a week? You answer that one. <laughs> I think it is because, you know, people always say money isn't everything. But look, uh, Neymar, <laughs> Neymar in the summer of last year, as you said, he moved to Al Hilal in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Um, 78 million pounds. He was supposed to be the poster boy of Saudi mm. football alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. Mm. But he has had an absolute nightmare in Saudi Arabia. He's only played seven times. Uh, pretty soon after he moved to Al Hilal, he was playing for Brazil. Serious knee injury. Mm. He's been out for about a year. He came back a couple of weeks ago. Everything seemed to be going quite well. Then on Monday night, he was playing in an Asian Champions League game and he was injured again. Now, he took to social media. He said, oh, no, no, it's not a serious injury. I'm just a little bit tired. Uh, but yesterday, Al Halal came out and said, actually, he has picked up a hamstring injury. So he's going to be out, I think, for around a month. So you have to say the move has not worked out at all for Al Halal financially. I don't think they really need him because they've won the mm. Saudi title. They're top of the league again. They are the best team in Saudi Arabia, but they've had to do it without Neymar mm. and they've had to do it while they've been paying Neymar this gargantuan salary. Now, it has led to reports in Brazil that all these constant injury problems mean that Al Hilal want to cut their losses. There's a transfer window coming up in January. He's out of contract. Uh, at the end of the season. So there are journalists in Brazil who believe that Al Halal will try and offload him in January. Now, the people we speak to in Saudi Arabia say that is not the case. Yeah, who would buy him? Would they, would they have to buy him? How would that work? Well, nobody can afford him. No. Nobody can afford to pay his wages. Why would he leave mm -hmm. when he's getting paid those wages, even when he's injured? I suppose... Al Halal could come to a financial agreement mm. and arrangement with him to give him a lump sum. But again, the people a we're speaking sum. to. It's rather a large yeah, lump, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but you can get those kind of lump sums wow. in Saudi Arabia. Okay. Uh, but the people we're speaking to in Saudi Arabia are saying those reports are not true. Mm. He's got a contract, he'll be staying at Al Halal. Of course, we're disappointed that he's uh, been injured so much, but that's just one of those things in football. Look, dare I say it, age is but a number, but he is 33 in February, which is, you know, older than 30 in football, you know, and they're, they're getting on a little bit. Um, can he ever get back to his best, do you think? Or is, was this the year that he was supposed to be, you know? I think it's difficult to see how he can get back mm. to his best. Uh, it's sometimes easy to forget that he is the world's only £200 million footballer. Uh, you know, when he moved to Barcelona, uh, uh, when he moved to PSG from Barcelona, that incredible deal, that is now, what, 70 years ago? And he had a lot of injury problems at PSG, mm. the move to PSG, even though he won so many trophies there. It didn't really work out. Then he got this move to Saudi Arabia and everybody was saying basically he's going there for the money. It's a retirement home. Mm. And you have to say it hasn't worked out in Saudi Arabia either. And you point out he's going to be 33 in February. Mm. I wish I was going to be 33 in Me February. Too. But you have to say in footballing terms, he is coming to the end yeah. of his career. And critics would say that by moving to Saudi Arabia, he was already kind of semi-retiring anyway. OK, well, what about this conspiracy theory? Because we love a conspiracy theory involving Neymar and Cristiano Ronaldo, who is a little bit older than him as well, but still looking good for it. Uh, I mean, we've got to be careful in this modern age when we deal with conspiracy theories because they can take you down lots of rabbit hutches. But there is... <laughs> we're just talking about football, so we can talk about conspiracy okay. theories. But... Neymar is out of contract at the end of the season. Cristiano Ronaldo is out of contract at the end of the season. Yes. At the end of this season, we've got the Club World Cup, the first one ever. Lionel Messi is playing in it with Inter Miami because FIFA have invited Inter Miami. But Al Nasser are not playing in the Club World Cup at the end of the season. So what is Cristiano Ronaldo thinking? Mm. Is he thinking, this is my last chance to play in the Club World Cup? I want to win the trophy. This is a new trophy I've never won. And my great rival, Lionel Messi, is playing in it. How can I get into this tournament? 
So potentially, there are some he conspiracy theories him. out there that he could move to Al Hilal. Goodness me. Play for Al Hilal in the Club World Cup. Uh, Saudi Arabia would want to show off all their best players that they've got in their league. Would he still Why be there not? Then? Would he... No, his contract runs out at the end of the season oh, as well. Okay. And there's also this special transfer window uh, in June, uh, June the 1st and to June the 10th next year, that FIFA have said can be opened for clubs to buy players. So it looks like FIFA are, you know, opening the window for the possibility of that to happen. Now, it's just a conspiracy theory, but mm. I think we need to watch this space because... I can't, I can't see Cristiano Ronaldo just sitting at home and watching the Club World Cup on TV. Not when Messi's is in it as well. Exactly. I think this is a tournament that he wants to play in. Yes. And I think there are people at FIFA who would want him and also the sponsors, the commercial partners, uh, broadcasters would all want Cristiano Ronaldo as well as Lionel Messi. Mm. And Jude Bellingham and Kylian Mbappe and Cole Palmer is going to be there as well. Don't forget him. Yeah. But Quite good. I think there is a possibility that somehow Cristiano Ronaldo finds a team uh, who would uh, sign him up to play in the tournament at the end of the season. Watch this space.